in large electrical systems, not only are the voltage and current important to know, but power is coated so often that measuring it directly proves highly valuable. So the device that measures power is called the wattmeter. So essentially, a wattmeter has a current coil and a potential coil. So the current coil is connected in series with the line, like here, series with the line, and then the potential coil is connected in parallel the line, or between two lines. The wattmeter is a black box with two ports. So the wattmeter in three-phase system. So if you want to measure the three-phase power or the total three-phase power by using three wattmeters. So in this case, we have the Y load and delta node load. So as you can see, as you notice, it is always the phase voltage and the phase current. So if you look at the Y connected load, if you want, we want to measure the power per phase, so always measure the voltage per phase, voltage right here, and the current per phase. So same with the delta connected loads. We have the voltage per phase and then the current per phase. Now let's consider this uh, figure. We have the Y connected load with three uh, watt meters. So let's connect this point X right here to this node N or the neutral uh, line. So if we have, for example, the AB has 100 and the 0 BBC is 100 and 120 and VCA goes to 100 and well, negative 240 so we have VAN Plenty. 100 over 30 angle negative 30 BBN over square root of 3 negative 150 CN is 100 over square root of 3 angle so let's say we have an unbalanced two phase load where ZA turn to negative eight on ohms GB is eight and ohms DC is 10 ohms. Now solving for the values of IAA, IPB, and ICC, we have IAA equals to 19.32 angle 15. Appears IBB equal to 19.32 with angle 165 years and ICC is 10 angle negative 
90. Now we can calculate the power measured by each uh, watt meter. So for watt meter A, we have VP times IAA. So these are the magnitudes times cosine the angle of VP minus the angle of I A. We have two hundred eight point seven watts. Now similarly for meter B and what meter C instead of VP times IBB cosine of So this is the angle for BBN BN minus angle of IBB equal to 188.7 watts. Remember the angle here is the angle here E are the Angle of the measured voltage minus angle of the measured current. Lastly, we have current of VP ICC cosine of angle of V and minus angle ICC. We went to negative 577.4 watts. Our power total equivalent to 1 kilowatt. So which is correct because we only have the DC as our is the load. So if you compute the power of the resistive load, it is equivalent to I squared times R. So where the current flowing through the 10 ohm, 10 ohm distance is uh, 10 squared times 10. Given to 1k. So now let's consider uh, connecting point X at let's say at phase B. The voltage measured by the watt meter B is equal to zero. Since it is just shorted to so our PB to zero. Now we have our uh, common line as the line B or base B. So the power measured by base A. Now we have the voltage AB. Now now V AB. The same current IAA, IAA, then cosine of. So this time, the angle of VAB minus the angle of IAA. Which is equivalent to 1,800. Six watts. Now for watt meter B, watt meter C, we have the voltage measured is VCB. 
And the current measure is ICC cosine of theta of ECB minus theta of ICC. So remember, ECB is a negative of BBC. We have negative eight six oops. I have one thousand watts or one kilowatts. As you notice we still get the same total power. Now in this case only two watt meters are used. This would be right here and right here. So this method is called the two watt meter method. So this is the most uh, commonly used method in measuring three phase power because, for example, in this case, uh, the neutral line is not always accessible. So it is much better to connect the two watt meters between two lines so what meter one between line a and line b and what meter two between line c and line b so you can choose any uh reference in this case the reference is uh line b so if you choose to have uh reference at line c so you must uh, switch hot meter to and connect it here and place it here. So the watt meter method uh, indicates the total power regardless of whether it is Y or delta connected, load unbalanced or source unbalanced. So meaning it is applicable to unbalanced and balanced systems and the differences in the two watt meters and the waveform of the periodic source.